Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to episode 14 of Rachel Knits Things. My name is Rachel, I'm a knitter, crocheter, and seamstress from southeastern Michigan, and this is a space for me to talk about my crafting, my crafting goals, um, and what I'm currently working on, what I want to work on next, um, and show that off for you. So, uh, it's been about a week since my last video. I am finally recording on a Saturday again, um, and I put in context this week, so <laughs> completely unrecognizable. Just kidding. These are doing something weird, and they're too long, so we're gonna kind of curtain them a little bit, even though they're not styled for it, but whatever. So it is absolutely lovely here uh, this weekend. It's supposed to be really warm and um, I am wearing my finished object, which is the slouchy tee. Um, this was a graveyard whip. I started this last summer and never finished it. I got to like the cast off for one of the sides for the neck. I have no idea. They're the same on either side, so I don't have any clue. Um, I worked on this this week. I just had to cast off the neck for one side, leave those stitches on hold, and then uh, work the other side up and do the same and then finish it off with a Kitchener stitch uh, at the shoulders for the seams. And <laughs> on this side, right at the very beginning, I dropped a stitch and did not notice until I got all the way here and then I looked and I was like, why does the back needle have more stitches than the front needle? And I dropped a stitch. <laughs> it like took me forever. I was like, did I like skip a step or what did I do? And so I had to go, like I finally, I just, I went back a few stitches and I was like, did I skip one or what did I do here? Uh, to try and figure it out and I, I couldn't find anything because I swear it was right and then all of a sudden it wasn't um, and it was it was not right from the very beginning so I just kind of took some of the leftover scraps and I picked that stitch up and kind of like anchored it to the other ones <laughs> and it's fine it's all good so yeah, I worked on this for about seven and a half hours. It did not take me very long. I finished it on Thursday. Did I finish it on Thursday? Wednesday or Thursday, and I washed it and dried it on Thursday. This is Lion Brand Pima Cotton. Um, it is washer and dryer safe, gentle cycle, low heat. I ended up just doing time to dry for the dry cycle because it was the only thing that I had in there so it was not drying it <laughs> like to my liking anyway because I really wanted it to shrink these stitches back up because obviously when they get wet they get very very stretched out so I wanted to make sure it like <sharp inhale> kind of sucked everything back in before I took it out of the uh, dryer and laid it out to dry the rest of the way so it looks fantastic I love it I kind of wish I'd done a size down because I have a whole heck of a lot of ease on both sides. This is probably about 20 inches of ease I think. It's something crazy. Um, and there's only like five sizes I think I want to say. I'm not sure. Uh, like four or five sizes. But they are all supposed to be very um, loose because it's, it's a slouchy shirt. So I am like right past the recommended bust measurement for the size two. And so I did the size three because that is technically within my bust measurement range, the range for the bust measurement. But this shirt is like, I think it, it's close to like 60 inches around. So it's a lot. It's, I mean, yeah. I have a good amount of ease on either side. And so I made it so it was a little bit, I don't know, it's not really cropped, 
but it is just slightly. It's not like a full length shirt. Um, and I don't think that I did the recommended length for the bottom before adding the sleeves. So you just seriously knit a tube up and then uh, put half the stitches on hold and then add stitches for sleeves. Oh, there's a big hole on that side. I should probably stitch that up, but I don't think I'm going to. And it's fine because it's for me, you know? Um, so let's get into my works in progress. Um, and it feels good to complete a month goal in the next episode after talking about it. I mean, we're already like two weeks into April, but oh well. Um, so this is the Sporty Knit Skort, and I finished the shorts. We all knew I was, I was putting this on hold and doing the shorts. I really need to do a try on because I am unsure of how this is going to be fitting and it makes me nervous. Um, and I did something silly. Uh, and I cast this leg off in just a knitted cast off. Uh, but I hate doing that and will avoid it at all costs. And I don't mean I do like a sewn cast off or anything. I mean that, hang on, it's on my rolling desk all the way over here. I use a crochet hook to cast off. I did not have a 3.25 millimeter uh, crochet hook. I went out and purchased this yesterday evening just to cast that leg off uh, because I will avoid it like the plague. Um, <laughs> I really hate it uh, and I will use a crochet hook to do a just knitted bind off all day every day. Um, I, of course, bound off in the one by one rib. It's supposed to be two by two. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, so I worked on this this week for about, how long was it? Four and a half hours. I don't know why that was all the way, like, turned such a weird way. So there is where I was at, and that is the amount of knitting that I did. So we got we got the leg done. This is um, probably going to be kind of on hold until later in the summer. I may work on it a little bit here and there, but it is definitely not a summer garment. So there is not a huge rush to get it done at the moment. And I know there should be because um, if I leave it on hold too long, it will be officially on my needles for like two years if I really wait uh, <laughs> because I purchased this pattern and the yarn for it like when it came out. Um, so yeah, my bangs, I, I can't, I need to trim them. Um, but also I kind of just want to go in and get my hair done. Usually I trim them at least once before I go and get my hair done and like recolor them once, but I've been way too lazy to recently. So they're just kind of doing whatever the heck they want. So I put a marker in that and now, oh my goodness, it's not going to let me do it. And I don't think I have it. Oh yes I do. Okay. This is not for this needle, but the key will work nonetheless the other items in this will not. It's like a connector and end caps. So I'm gonna put my Lique Sepra 3.5s back on before they get lost because they have just been sitting over there. Um, <laughs> which is very silly of me. They've just kind of been sitting loose on the cable that I used for uh, for the shorts before I split for the legs. So, put that on there. And I have been back in the gym this week. Uh, 
And I've been listening to my audiobook a little bit for the series that I've been listening to. And I had kind of stopped listening to it, even though I finally bought the fifth one in the series. Um, I don't know why. I think probably because the next one is not available yet. And I, it makes me nervous. And I kind of know what's going to happen from like the book series, like wiki page and stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to read it. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. Um, so yeah, and that series is the, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it. It's by Chloe C. Penurenda. She's a Scottish author, I believe. Um, and it's a, an amazing series. It really is. <clears throat> so, I've got that on there. And I'll need to connect another ball very soon. I'm going to put that through both legs of this stitch so that I don't get any weirdness happening. And just do a couple of stitches here. <clears throat> so that's the Sporty Knit Skort and it's been on my needles for far too long. but. All good. So hold it up. Those are gonna do some weird things. Oh well. <clears throat> so on to the next. What's the next? I'm gonna grab my marina bag because this is where my other whips are. And I don't feel like getting the multiple balls of yarn that are on it out. Here is my Salty Days sweater. Um, here is the front here. And I worked on this for about two and a half, yeah, two hours and ten minutes. That is the uh, recorded time. And I did, I got this little lace eyelet done and I'm on this kind of diamond lace pattern again that you really can't see. There we go. <laughs> um, so I got, it's like a couple of inches of knitting um, through and my bag's on the floor. <laughs> so I love this pattern so much. It keeps me engaged. I have not really felt knitting this week very much. Um, I don't know. So obviously like I did a good amount of knitting because I finished this. I worked on it for seven hours and I worked on the uh, sporty knit squirt for four and a half. So I did a good amount of knitting um, but not so much when I normally do it which is at work sitting at my desk while I'm working. I have just been like on my Kindle reading, reading, reading away. So uh, this got some work on it yesterday. I think I worked on it a little bit earlier in the week as well. Um, but not as much as it typically would have and it's looking so good. I'm very excited to get this uh, body finished and it's I have just like a, a section of this ribbing, I think, and then there might be another little section of something or another, and then the hem ribbing. So it's, I mean, not too far off of finishing. I'm not sure what needle I'm going to use for the cast off edge. Um, I'm gonna have to do another like gauge swatch for it um, which I may do once I finish this ball and I need to attach a new one <clears throat> and see if I can get gauge with maybe a 325 because I don't think it's gonna happen with a three millimeter which is what it calls for <clears throat> also my leakage do not have a three millimeter 
I would have to see if I was able to like order a fixed one and that's not happening. Or maybe a wooden needle, but yeah, my Addies are, I have a fixed circular three millimeter Addy um, turbo and it's like the square one and I cannot get gauge with that one. So I already know this. This is something that is already known to me. You're gonna have to figure it out. It's probably gonna have to be a 3.25 and just to go with, just go with that. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about this. It looks so pretty. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and move this marker up. To right there. I love this color. It's like neon in the sunlight. It, the camera definitely blows it out a lot more too and it obviously it makes me like really like pale <laughs> uh, if we take it away completely I look a little less blown out and pale but it's definitely the it blows out a lot on camera and this is again the knitting for olive merino and soft silk mohair in the color red current 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I should probably look that up. Um, but I just just generally go through life not knowing how to pronounce things until someone looks at me like I'm stupid and tells me how it's pronounced. And that's that's how I've been my whole life. <laughs> All right. Now for the DRK Everyday Socks. Um, these four items are the only things that I worked on this week, and that's okay. I got a stripe and the start of a next done on this. I only worked on these for an hour and 20 minutes this week, uh, and I probably have this one and the next one to go before I do the heels, which is my second goal for this month. So as you can see, I left off on like the top of that purple stripe and I finished this little cream off white one and started on the little light purple one. Um, I just really love this yarn. I love this color. This pattern is fun. It's a lot of knitting and it definitely kind of makes my hands cramp up just a little bit. But... I enjoy it and it's all fine. I am nervous about starting the heel turn. I don't know why. Don't ask me questions. Don't ask me silly questions. I can't answer them. Uh, don't know. We're just, I'm just, excuse me, just generally nervous. That's me. That is, that is my name, generally nervous. Um, the only type of heel I've done, and like I said, I never finished that sock. I got to like where I needed to decrease for the toes and didn't do it. I may take, I did buy a 275 of this, so I may take this and one of these and go and do that at some point, um, but I don't know how and I will have to look it up, um, and that's okay. So, this is so cute. I love them so much. I cannot wait until they're finished, but we're nervous for the heel turns. And that's all right. We can be nervous. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> um, so this was definitely a shorter episode today. Let's see if we can figure out what I want to pick up next. I bought a kit from Lion Brand. It is like a little granny square blanket. They sent like an email a while ago. If you get Lion Brand emails, you might know what I'm talking about. And it was like advertising a bunch of granny square patterns. And I wanted to get, there's like this granny square cardigan 
I cannot remember what it's called um but it looked so good it was like a super long like duster length granny square cardigan and I was so tempted to get it it was like a hundred bucks though and I'm like soon soon someday uh and instead I bought a <laughs> blanket pattern um a blanket kit for it's like a little flower like hexagon hexagonal hexagonal granny square blanket um and it's gonna look so cute I did change up the colors and I'm a little bit nervous about them clashing but if I have to go buy a different color of the yarn that will match I'm not afraid to do that it's available at Joann's <laughs> it's in the hue and me yarn which is like a bulky weight one um yeah so I'm just I've been thinking about that I really want to crochet I don't know why it's it's just taken over my brain and I want to do it so we're gonna scratch we're gonna scratch the itch even though I have so many knitting projects that I need to work on I definitely think that I want to continue and pick up the start of the back panel for this um, which is the 9 p.m. tank and I do not remember the designer uh, so I finished this portion of it, which is just the, uh, like, top of the bust for the tank top. Yeah. So hopefully I will be able to pick this up and continue to work on it um, soon because summer is coming and this yarn I picked this up last year and started it and did not finish it so we need some summer projects even though this is wool so I don't really know how well it's gonna work out for summer but we're gonna work on it anyway <laughs> um <sighs> trying to think which I do a lot <laughs> I need to put these away before I lose this this was the ones I was using for the leg for the shorts um yeah this needs to go back in its case where it belongs before it gets lost because that is very likely to happen I'm just still sitting here thinking about crochet. <laughs> I really want to crochet. I don't know why. Maybe I'll pick up that uh, blanket um, big, like the big granny square blanket that I've got upstairs that is just kind of a sit around project. Or maybe I'll work on some washcloths uh, or pot holders. Who knows? There's a million possibilities for what I could work on with the crochet with what I've got in stash so um I'm gonna go dig through my stash and see what I can maybe find to work on and I will see you next week bye <laughs>